Hey guys, Angry British Conservative, and this week I want to talk about George Galloway. Now, if you don't know who he is, it's a politician within the British Isles who founded the Workers' Party, which is a left-wing party of uh, Great Britain in 2019, if I remember correctly. Yes, I read that off Wikipedia because I didn't know beforehand. <laughs> Anyways, he's been recently elected as a member of parliament of Rochdale up north. Now, <laughs> while it is amusing to see Labour fail, he vows to take, uh, they, his party will take Amber Rudder's seat, which, if I'm correct in saying, is a shadow home secretary. Now, I could be wrong, I can't remember, to be honest with you. I can't stand the woman personally. I think she should be removed from office, but that's another thing entirely. The point I'm getting is, we have a general election coming up in the United Kingdom, and how it's going to play out, you know, is anyone's, you know, thing. But the thing is, though, George Galloway is not part of the mainstream party. He's nor left Labour, nor is he right Conservative. Although saying that the Workers' Party leans to left-wing populism. So you could say, in one brushstroke, he's like the left-wing version of Nigel Farage. Left-wing pol... pol left-wing... pop... left-wing... Oh, forgive me. Left-wing politics, but left-wing popular politics. Populism, that's it. Left-wing populism pop politics. Bit of a mouthful, but yes. And I'm not saying I support his politics, because I don't. But I would rather someone like that get in to office, you know, the way the MPs, local councils and so on, instead of Labour. I think Labour would fundamentally destroy everything, once again, if given the chance. But yes, he vows his party will take Amber Rudd's seat. I wish him all the best. So yes, George, if you ever do see this, Mr Galloway, this video or this podcast, I wish you all the best. Anyways, take care, and I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye!